I am not here to protest against anti-LGBTQ. That is not the reason why everybody is here today. We are What are your thoughts? Do you still agree that it's hateful to see them in person today? It should not be allowed. Hate, period, should not be allowed. That shit's on you. You know what? You want to be a fucking cunt? Be a fucking cunt. We've opened up a lane so people could be safely. You want to be fucking rude? Go fuck yourself. I don't know why you're starting with swimming at me. We don't hate gays, we don't hate trans, we just don't want indoctrination in our schools. When they are gathering for their tailgate party in the mall parking lot, we've got a couple of seasoned activists who are who've already said that they're willing to go over and, you know, take some pictures of license plates. What do you think about that? No space for hate! No hate. We came for a message. Our message is our the rights for our children. That's all. Efra Monsanto here reporting for Rebel News outside of Hamilton's Million March for Children taking place today outside of the Hamilton Wentworth School Board District. You can see behind me dueling protests between the counter far left union activists and the Muslim organized protest standing up for parental rights against gender ideology being inserted in schools. If you want to see more reports like this in the field, head over to stopclassroomgrooming.com. That way you can sign our petition if you stand against gender ideology in schools. And at that same location, you can ship towards our travel class to bring you this report. Here at Rebel News, we deployed our entire team across Canada to bring you nationwide coverage of these protests that were happening in 92 different cities. We have half a dozen full reports from our reporters, so stay tuned at stopclassroomgrooming.com. In some cities like Toronto, Vancouver and Montreal. We hired security in order to make sure that our reporters are safe despite the far left activists' attempt of violence towards our people. They were million March for Children protests organized by Muslims here in Hamilton united hundreds of concerned parents from diverse faiths and backgrounds. They stood firm despite intimidation from the union protesters who wrongly labeled the peaceful protest as hateful. The fascists are organizing in the streets. Um, I'm a researcher. Uh, at Carleton and my focus is fascism in Canada and the signs that I've seen that were rising that this is far more than just like a far right transphobic protest. They are fundamentally racist. They are fundamentally anti-union. They are fundamentally queer and transphobic. And it's just a matter of time before they come to us. The city's own far left former NDP leader of Ontario, Mayor Andrea Horvath, decried the Muslim protests as, quote, the promotion of hateful rhetoric that shames, denies and erases members of our community. What we're organizing is an organization from coast to coast that is going to address every level of government, that's going to address sexual indoctrination in the schools. We're going to come together and say, hey, wait a sec here. You know, we're going to work together to protect Canada's kids. We love kids alone! We love kids alone! We love kids alone! I'm going to head into the protest and see what people have to say. Stay tuned. What brings you out here today? So they don't teach our children that kind of stuff that are disgusting and disturbing. None of us have any problem with any communities, LGBTQ. Uh, we all have m many friends that have grown up and they're in those communities. Most of the ones we speak to now to try to reach out are telling us that they don't promote it in the schools either. We just want education for the children. It's not educational to learn about genders. I saw a bunch of media posts about um, certain protests kind of being like anti-LGBTQ. So I was like, I saw other people saying that they were going to protest the protesters. And being a queer member of the community, I was like, I'll come check it out. So I did. And it turns out it's kind of about anything and everything. But a lot of it is in regards to it. And I was like, why don't I just show that there doesn't have to be a side of either. It doesn't have to be on either side of the situation. You can be in the middle. What brings you out here today? Well, my granddaughter, she's two. She'll be going to school, you know, in a few years and I'm getting really concerned with what they're pushing on children. We don't like to our kids to learn that in the school. Yeah. Maybe the school have to ask the parents if they accept to learn uh, this uh, lessons about them or no. That's it. We want to choose yes or no. That's it. We don't need anything else. They have their freedom and we have ours, you know. They can live their choices and we can live ours. We're not transphobic. Uh, that's not even a part of what we even discuss in our meetings. We discuss safety and children's future. 
Now it's everything is about sex. Well, what do you want to be? Do you want to be a boy or do you want to be a girl? They need to stop pushing this on kids. Get back to teaching them what they need to be taught. Our, our, our education system has just gone so downhill. They're going to school to learn, educate, that's it. You can't just teach them that kind of other stuff that we don't want them to know. When you say equal rights, it's not equal when my kid's 12 and says he doesn't want to go to school anymore because that's all they want to talk about now. Because now that there's an argument over it, they're bringing it up kind of more in the schools and our kids are not feeling comfortable. They're, they're helping them with getting the medication, the hormone therapies. This is not good for a child's body. It has not done growing, and this is what they're pushing on them. They are harming children, and they don't want parents to know. So yeah, they can like, we can live with them. We can just, anything. We're free, they are free. She's just like really, really, it's really, really disrupting how they teach our little children. We've got a couple of seasoned activists who are who've already said that they're willing to go over and you know take some pictures of license plates. He wanted to intimidate people. That's what they were all saying on that uh, that Zoom video. Is was their intentions was to intimidate people. Flight, fight, or fright. And so let's give them some fright on September 20th. And there was plenty and plenty of hate on that video. And at the same time, in the same sentences, they're talking about us hating people. But at the same time, they're calling us bigots, racists, homophobes. That's not what we are. We just want our children safe. We're, we know that we're better than them. We also don't have to worry too much about um, putting our members and our comrades in unsafe situations because when we get numbers, we're going to keep each other safe. Excuse me, guys. If I could ask you a quick question, what brings you out here today? I'm okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. There's been calls for some people on your side from the union to take pictures of people's license plates and intimidate people who attend. What are your thoughts on that? Would you denounce that? No response. Just wanted to ask what brings you guys out here today? I have no comment at this time. Do you guys agree with, you know, people on the union side taking pictures of people's license plates to intimidate them? No comment at this time, thank you. Do you agree with it or do can you denounce it? What brings you guys out here today? Um, we wanted to be out here to show our support. What do you think of the crowd? This has been denounced as hateful, but there's a very diverse group of people here. Do you still consider it hateful today? I feel like everyone's entitled to their opinion. They're here to share theirs, and we're here to share ours. On, uh, there's a you know, la labor leader in Hamilton that actually called for people to take license plate pictures of the protesters. Do you agree with that? I'm uh, just here to show love. Cheers, Have you. a good day. You too. What brings you guys out of here today? Because the protests Rebel against the... What are we rebelling against? What are we rebelling against? 
I'm just here for bringing it out here today. Let me get your opinions. Opinions. Hate has no place within the school. Both things are equally important. And there's always a necessity to teach not only science, but actual life skills that affect the people of Canada. Yeah, so that's, this whole group has been denounced as hateful and like bigoted and transphobic. It is pretty diverse and they seem pretty like normal. What are your thoughts? Do you still agree that it's hateful to see them in person today? It's honestly disappointing because this type of hate, although there is more of it in many different groups, it should not be allowed. Hate, period, should not be allowed. Yeah. It's just disappointing to see overall. And then what do you think of the Angus Reid poll that recently asked Canadians that 80% of them agree that we shouldn't be having secret transitions in schools? Do you agree with that? No. Secret. <laughs> so real, no. Not at all. If you do something that makes a child feel safe at school, then that's what you should do. Period. Do you have any final thoughts to our viewers who might be watching and thinking, what's going on here? Honestly, just come down here and see for yourself. It's really interesting, and no matter what side you're on, this is an enriching experience. True. That's a great shirt. Oh, thank you. Rebel News, I love you guys, brother. What brings you out here today? Parental rights. It's about the parents having the choice, right? The, the schools are keeping secrets. We can't allow this type of policy to go on. Whether it's New Brunswick's premier putting his leadership on the line. Doug Ford just said something the other day about parental rights. We deserve the last say. Most important is the parents' rights. The parents' rights to listen and make sure they are informed when their children make a decision. They can, you know, it's not up to the teachers, it's not up to the school boards to indoctrinate our kids. You know, it's the parents' responsibility to hear what the kids are doing and not the school board. We don't want schools having secrets. And what do you say to people, like the people outside here, that have deemed this hateful and they represent, you know, potentially millions of Canadians through union leaders and activists? The city of Hamilton has actually denounced this as hateful. What are your thoughts to that? It's false. This is about love. We, we love the community. We love the children. It's about making sure they grow up healthy without confusing ideologies, bringing on later health problems. Like, we don't want them with these books in school, with these lessons in school. It's more about the freedom, having the freedom to have your rights the way you want them, the way parents want them. Parents' rights are our rights. Just keep the the education, the curriculum, and not about sex and not about ideology, just keep it simple. English, math, geography, history, that's all. It's just, uh, of course, uh, they are polluting the minds of the kids yeah. before they reach uh, an age to take a decision themselves, right? So this is not fair. Parents have, should have the right to teach their kids uh, regarding these things. Because it's not about hate, it's not about homophobia, it's not that a lot of these people think it's against trans, against gay, against whatever these letters, numbers are for them. What it is, it's keep it out of the schools. That's the point. I'm a parent, I have two children, and I am against everything that is going on in the school system right now. Uh, in my kid's school, there is a teacher that identifies as a cat and requested a litter box to the school. How come parents are not informed what's going on within their, within their uh, schools, right? They're there eight hours a day. They basically live at school and visit home. Why is it that as a parent, I don't have a right towards my children anymore? What we'll brings you out here today? I up for the children and my grandchildren. There's no hate here. It's love, just like it was in Ottawa. It's all love. It's the opposite side that is bringing in the hatred and the division, not us. You know, they have the right to their own opinion, but they, they cannot impose their their uh, uh, thoughts or uh, views into uh, other people, right? Everyone has their own right. 
A lot of people in this world go get surgeries to augment their bodies. Every single day, thousands of people are getting some sort of body implant. But we don't teach it in our school that if you haven't developed your breast to a size double C by the age of 15, you should go mutilate your body. We don't teach that in school. So it's not about whether you're trans, straight, whatever. Leave it out of the schools. I can tell you for a fact right now that I am not here to protest against anti-LGBTQ. That is not the reason why everybody is here today. The reason we are here today is to march for the children and to stop the sexualization and the ident uh, gender identities in school. There is nothing, I have nothing against the LGBTQ community. I have family and friends who are part of the LGBTQ community who are totally against everything that is going on in the school systems right now. I am here for my children and the future generations of this country. Well, the word hate is not, should be in our vocabulary. We need to listen, like our mayor came up with that press statement yesterday. Yeah. You talk about, that was so disappointing. We need to listen and not label. And people that listen at both sides, they don't label people. We've been labeled as hate people and it's our children that count. We're here for our children and nothing else. I just, I just want to say, you know, wake up. Wake up before it's too late. When they indoctrinate your children at a very young age, it's, it's hard for the children to know the difference between what's right and what's wrong. And always remember, we are in charge of our kids. We are responsible for our kids. We make the final calls. We make the final decisions, not the school board. What are your thoughts that, you know, Thanks. unions have said this is an incredibly hateful, this is bigoted, this is transphobic. Do you guys experience that today? Do you feel like you're in a hateful area right now? Hamilton labor leader is actually called to photograph license plates of those who attend here and intimidate them. Do you feel like that's respectful and you know is that, is that something that's fine to do if you're a union activist? Love not hate. Love not hate. Love. Do you, do you see any hate right now? Well, thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Cheers. What brings you out here today? I am from Poland. I absolutely agree. Leave our kids alone. Well, thank you. Activists making assaults on you next. You're the most incarcerated people I've ever seen. Your minds are gone. Hate has no bounds. What hate have you seen today? Hate. I've seen bouncy castles, but I wasn't tricked. I saw bouncy castles, but I'm not tricked. You are full of hatred. Leave on Christian What brings you out here today? Uh, saving our children. They're our children, not the government. 
As far as pride goes, nothing against them. We just don't want our kids learning sexuality in the education system. Educate, don't indoctrinate. No hate. We came for a message. Our message is our the rights for our children. That's all. Who is going to be next? Do you agree with union activists taking pictures of license plates to intimidate some of these people? Do you agree with that? Who do they go and target next? Do you have any hate word for that? There's no bounds. Hey, who's There's hateful no today? Bounds. Leave our kids hate alone. Kids no bounds. Shame, 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 shame. shame. What hateful stuff do you see today? Shame on all of you. Hatred has no bounds. Hatred has no bounds. What, what brings you out here today? Main reasons, and the first thing a groomer tells a child is don't tell your parents. This is about leaving our children to be children. Let them decide what they want to be when the time is right with the guidance of their parents. It is not about hate. I accept the LGBTQ uh, population. They are welcome in my world. I love them. I want them to be happy. I, you know, if you're not harming anyone, you're okay to do what you want. But what you're doing in the school right now to our children is harming them, and it's not okay. And that's why we are here. And what do you think of the people behind you, the far left Univin activists who've been, who made a huge call for action across Canada, deeming everyone who attends here as bigoted and hateful? What are your thoughts to that? They're wrong. Educate yourself. This is not about separating people. It's about protecting the children. They're learning too much at too young of an age. Leave our kids alone! 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 Excuse me, what brings you out here today? Uh, what brings me is I'm very concerned about what's happening in schools right now. Um, kids from very young age are being like uh, exposed to things that are not suitable for their age. Uh, it's not about people uh, who are different, they have the right to exist. We're not here to impose our identity or impose our ideologies. We are here to say, save the kids from the things that might harm them on the long term. We could have a generation of distorted minds because they are exposed to things that are not in their mental, like, Apprehension? No space for hate! No space for hate! No space for hate! Do you see any hateful things today? For hate! No space for hate! No space for hate! No space for hate! What do you think of union activists wanting to take pictures of people's license plates to intimidate them from coming out today? What do you think about that? No space for hate! 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 Are you wearing a mask to hide your identity or for safety? Hey, no, hey. Idiot. What do you think about the group out here that has labeled the peaceful protest as hateful? I think it's absurd and I think that they're very close-minded. Unfortunately, we're not here to hate on anybody. Our entire community is about living in oneness and living in love. We truly believe that everyone has a right to the lifestyle that they wish, but what we don't agree with is pushing it on young, underdeveloped minds who are very, um, you know, influenced by outside opinions. So that's why we're here, to spread love and peace. Oh!
My kid is in high school and he's trans. And he could, he's, is he just the first people to come to you? How can you have freedom? That's a betrayal. You're a betrayal. It's a human race. We are human. Just want to do a quick interview? Uh, what brings you out here today? I'm here to protect my son, and I'm here to protect all the kids in the world. I'm definitely fighting for everybody, and I'm not down with the agenda. What do you think about the, the far-left activists here who put out a huge call for action across Canada and labeling anyone who attends here as hateful and bigoted? What are your thoughts today? As you see my sign, we don't hate gays, we don't hate trans, we just don't want indoctrination in our schools. Our tax dollars pay for the schools, not for sexualization of kids. Keep it out of the schools, bottom line. Actually, my son's in kindergarten, and there's a, a children who identified as N, non-binary, at four years old. That's not the child identifying, that's the parents. And the school went along with it. Instead of putting an M or an F for male or female, they put an N for non-binary. Not okay. <laughs> We don't want we, uh, our kids under us until 18 to um, teach their things. So just to against for that thing. Well, what brings you out here in the first place? It's because like me personally, I don't I don't really like I feel like they're grooming the people, you know? And real shit, I don't play that shit. I want to pave the way for my grandchildren. I want a better life for my children, my grandchildren to a thousand generations. What brings you out here today? Protesting for the children. They call us hateful. I don't think we are hateful. I believe for me personally that I love everybody. Because I spoke to one of them, I shake his hands and I spoke to him, I had a good talk with him. I don't come as hate. Our thing is just that we want to see things go right for our children. Because what our children are being taught in the schools is not right. We're not against them. We're not here for hate. We're here to, you know, to get our parental rights back. We don't want, we don't, we're not fighting against them. We just want to have a say in our children's lives. That's all we want. We are kids. If you want to see more reports like this in the field, head over to stopclassroomgrooming.com. That way you can sign our petition if you stand against gender ideology in schools. And at that same location, you can ship towards our travel costs to bring you this report from across Canada.